I remember that show. Yeah. And for one, that was a year ago. I cannot that believe that's a, yeah. that was a year ago. Yeah. Um, what did happen after the show? Well, we went for afternoon tea, yeah. <laughs> straight from the studio, and we were just talking about um, some of the past, some of the sadder times, as well as the mm. good times. Um, and around that time, I was, I think I was secretly pregnant. I must have, I must have been this time last year. And I'd been talking about sort of writing and blogging about parenting. Uh -huh. And, you know, two kids in, I'm up to my eyes in kind of books about sleeping and feeding routines. Yeah. And I wanted to put together something that was more of a, what do women really face in the modern world? Yeah. And I know here you talk a lot about, you know, mm. Photoshop, Instagram, all these pressures mm. so I wanted to tackle that but I wanted to tackle like my mum's diaries my mum's diary said what do you do when your child goes through trauma disease disability sickness yeah and because until you heard your mum's diaries or read your mum's diaries mm. is it one of those that you don't think how it's affected other people is that the first time you realized how deeply it had affected your mum I think, yes, it, it, I always knew that it had been a life-changing experience for mm, all of us. All of you. But I guess there were lots of parts that I, I was unconscious for, you know, I wasn't there mm. for and, and didn't see. Um, and my mum's quite a private person, mm. says me, who's dragged her diaries onto telly. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I think without those diaries, she may never have expressed those yes. thoughts and emotions yeah. to me. But now I've become a mum, I understand yeah. there's some things we don't tell our children. Yeah. For, to protect, protect them. them yeah. 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 So... Do you keep a diary yourself about your relationship with your children? I've kept some things, more little bits about the birth and things, but other diaries I've kept, when I've read them, I've actually felt embarrassed about them and I've yeah. ripped them up, which <laughs> sounds bad, doesn't it? Yeah. But yeah. Some, what embarrassed you about them? Just, I suppose, the way I felt at that point in my life or the, my feelings towards other people. And not everything's written to be read, is it? Some yeah. things are written to offload. I think often a diary is where you express your darkest, most negative yeah. thoughts. I know that I've, at times when I've been very depressed, I've written a diary, and then when yeah. I've read it back. <gasps> So now oh. I've just made mum pu publish hers. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and how is she feeling about that? She's here, with your lovely mum, with your dad. How, how did, did you have to...? Um, it was interesting working together because, yeah, a lot of that... Was, and none of that was ever written to be published, and she mm. agreed to share a lot of it. And I think it was, coming on Loose Women, the response on Twitter afterwards yeah. was that it was helping and benefiting mm. my other mothers, other daughters. Mm. And that was kind of where the book was born, that actually, yeah. this is a horrible thing that happens to us, but if we can reframe those thoughts and turn it into something positive then yeah. are we not taking ownership back of what happened and, and mm. taking control of it and I think and also what happened to you was was so incredibly specific mm. and but what's happened since then with with your mum being diagnosed with cancer that's something that many families will relate to and the, the change in the mother-daughter role where you find yourself being a support to your mum after her years of supporting you. Yeah, I think it's funny when you experience the dynamics changing mm. and as an adult we realise that we always see our parents as, as strong people that yeah. don't cry or mm. don't go through difficult times and I think the book kind of sort of talks about that in quite an honest way. Yeah. 